We wander in the park, not hiding, but hiding. Her aunt always watches. At least she consents to you now coming to see me. She's sure of my lack of means, that she has time. She believes in my, my having a certain amount of delicacy. <laughs> in wanting to better my state before I... And put the pistol to my head. <laughs> that gives her time. <laughs> Strange. I think she half likes me. Oh, she never disparages culture or intellect. She adores writers. She wants you to be associated with her It must name. be a pang to her that I'm so desirable and yet so impossible. <laughs> anyway, she'll be glad. Why? I have to go away. What? I've been... Tell me. I'm going to New York. The paper wants me to... This idea of a series of... I don't know, letters, social point of view, I, I, I can't refuse. No, of course not. I'm not in any position. I don't want you to. I don't know why they asked me. Because you're clever. You look at the world differently. I, I want to do it. My own way. Unafraid. I haven't said yes. Not until I asked you. We are bound together. Always. You must go. All the things you might do. Your aunt will be relieved. I might languish in your exile. She relies on your alienation from me. But if you me. are not present, how will I ever get bored of you? <laughs> I engage myself to you forever. I give you every drop of my life. She'll never agree. I ask her for nothing. I never put myself upon her. She must take her risks and she surely understands them. By your going away, we gain time. And so does she. There is no one yet she has in mind. Just us. Bound. That's everything. The joy of that. Our secret. Of us being as we are. If she asks if there is anything between us, I will say, I love you as I shall never love anyone else. She can make of that what she will. Beef steak and oysters in a pie. <laughs> Boiled and somehow a bit burnt. My cabin's not as small as I expected. I can nearly stand up. I often stand out on the deck. At night, the boat rolls. I... It's easier. Sometimes the cold. It tears each breath. My heart gasps. I saw an orca looking up at me as if I were the spectacle and it... It was the easiest thing in the world. It slid into the water. I wasn't sure if it... That I was just... I was dreaming. I was leaning over the rail half. And then it lifted its great tail. So easy, so silently. I couldn't move. I never felt so alive. I... Then it was gone. My love. You're so... Far from me. I don't mind being alone. I'm not afraid. I'm just bored. Bored of books. Bored of words. Bored of. It's like I'm waiting for something to happen and it. it never does. I dream. Of New, New York, York is a big place and rapidly becoming an interesting one. It seems so poetic, so tender. I walk everywhere. London's so black and actual. It's a brute next to all this. Kate? Yes, Armwood? I think we'll have aperitifs here in the drawing room. Well, this room is so red. Yes, it's ferocious. That's why I like it. How do I look? How you always look. Which is? 
like a lioness. <laughs> you shouldn't always say what you think, Kate. I don't. Do you miss Mr. Densher now he's away? I try not to think of him. By which you mean you think of him all the time? It is hard to imagine him in another place. New York is vast. New York is startling. Such strange histories. Wild, cosmopolite generations. They account for everything. The immense extravagance. Their soirees. <laughs> I'm Merton Densher, and I'm desperately trying to find New York. I'm Millie Thiel, from New York. So, how do you crack this city open, Miss Thiel? What have you tried so far, Mr. Densher? I... Uh, walk? Walk? Does that shock you? What did you find? I find I like... I like side streets. Side streets? And that... Uh, that, that the, the stretch of Lower Fifth Avenue has a mild and melancholic glamour that I In love. In the summer after the crowds leave, you wouldn't believe how quiet it is. You know it. But well, you've been there. All the time. You walk. Always. I just... You don't think young American girls... I know few women who venture out. Alone? <laughs> Since there's no one anymore, no one... In my family, I mean, left to object. I, I always loved the city around me. It's striking outwards. I like its edges that it falls away. It's slow rumble. The deep beat of its heart. I feel that. Just, just that it, it's, I don't know, still so open, so possible. London, it's, I am like an actor on a stage. Each day, I put on my costumes, reset my face. I never miss my mark or forget a line. I go over the same script. I play comic, ironic. I am pitch perfect. I know how to turn my head beautifully. I know all my best sides. I would like to show you London in the same way you have shown me New York, Miss How Thiel. have I shown you New York? <laughs> You've been in my drawing room a few times. The casual splendor of this room, like a happy accident. Is it? I don't notice. None of it's for show. Oh, the heavy glories of the London drawing room, all strung up piece by piece. You should see it. It... Strangulates. And all the time, I long for my dressing room where I can strip back these adornments and lay myself bare. Susie? Millie? Are you still up? Sitting so quietly, I didn't... The young Englishman, Mr. Densher. He's gone. San Francisco, I think. <laughs> Such adventures. Susie, if I asked you... What is it? ...to go away with me. To where? Europe, suddenly. When? This week. This week? No conditions, <laughs> no design. Passage booked for Saturday. Would you come with me? Do I have to say now? Yes. Right now? Yes. I would have to... I would. I. <laughs> yes, I would. Although, what clothes I'll bring, I. I want to ask you something else, too. What is it? What did the doctor say to you? When? Last week when I was ill. Nothing. Nothing? How do you know I saw him? I was bad for 24 hours. It was natural you would speak. There's no secret. So there's no confidence between you? No. Why? Are you not well? I don't know. Are you in pain? No, but I wonder. What? If I shall have much of it. What? Pain? Everything. Of everything I have. You do have everything. But for how long? Are you ill? No, I... I don't think so. You can get the best doctor. I want to go to London. I realize just now, I know it's... It's frivolous, but I think I... I think I want people... That's what's been haunting me these 
last few days, New York is so familiar, so worn to me. I want human and personal and London. London, it's the place for that. You may see that same young man. Mr. Dencher is away. He's away, and, and that's the end of it. By the time he returns, I'll be gone. You know, I have a possible tie. Who? A, a somebody, a someone in London. I don't like to presume I, an odd but interesting English girl. We, we had a friendship in the old days. I, I don't know, at my school we... No letter. Three weeks. Your silence becomes a shrug that I am trying to shake off. Where are you, my oh, love? Oh, you've written another letter, Kate. You've still not heard from Mr. Densher? You know I have You not. may leave your letters on the hall table. You do not have to go out to post them. I like the walk. Strange enough, I have a letter from an American, and it rather intrigues me. I suppose that's what she means to do. What is it? Oh, an old school friend, Susan Stringham. She made a rather meagre marriage and I lost her after lost that. Lost her? Well, you know, let her go. She lives in Boston, a provincial widow. She writes stories for ladies' magazines. I almost pity her. She's not coming Don't to be visit, mortified. is she? She may have something to show. Don't you. make me meet her. She's travelling with a princess. A remarkable thing from New York. New York? New York history. Loss of parents, brothers, the lot, and beyond everything, by most accounts, a mass of money so piled on the girl's back. It may be you, Kate, can give this young New York princess the culture she craves. Me? I think that's why dear Susie writes to me. She knows I can serve up the whole of London on a platter. A great side of an ocean. I am not afraid to look down the kingdom of the world spread out above and around. The sky stretching itself pure polar pink, the promise of it all before me. The deck throws me from me. Hanging vertiginous, the tip of a wave, I cross to its edge. It impels me, I look down. The dizzy edge, I'm not dizzy, put out onto gulfs air. To slip, to slide, to leap one false moment. Imagine a descent marked by air falling precipitously. I recklessly meditate my unlimited possessions. No, I will not renounce them. Yet, I will not end. Escape a scurried leap. I will take the whole assault of life, the more complicated passage. I will live.